All right, everyone, welcome into Operation Vanguard. I'm uh, Bcar. We we'll bring you guys on one life event today. We have uh, two rounds of Operation Vanguard set to go. Yada yada yada. Something something something. It's gonna be good. Uh, clearly, we're on this map, which I forgot the name of. Kohat. When's the last time you played a Kohat map, guys? Honestly, like, when is the last time anyone played Kohat? I guarantee you, in one in one recently. I'll be honest with you. I haven't played like a vanilla map of Kohat this year. Uh, maybe, maybe last summer. The map is great. Don't get me wrong, but it's confusing. I mean, it, it used to be so much smaller, and now it's so big. Okay. How do you get into basic appens? Well, you just gotta take basic. Squadops.gg slash count. Bang calendar. Bang. Hold on, let me switch to Twitch chat. Bang calendar. Yeah. You're looking for the basic course. Okie doke. Uh, right. So, but we are, uh, we're here during Vanguard. Uh, doing Vanguard and uh, let's take a look at the map here and we'll sort of describe how this operation is going to go We're gonna be on the southern side of Kohat. There's a doohickey called uh, Hangu And Hangu is the town right at the edge of the bridge here south of the river It runs east west before it cuts north west uh, It's like the south southeast uh, Portion of the map here Starting from the U.S. spawn point down here in the south, U.S. spawn or U.S. convoy is going to try to secure this area. So they're going to punch out from their uh, base to their starting point down here. They're going to go along the route and secure each bridge, all four bridges, um, with an option. But well, not so much an option. But the idea is to secure all four bridges and secure an OP at Hangu or Hangtown. Or whatever uh so the u.s are going to they have a convoy it's got mraps it's got logi trucks they got the logi trucks to the end at hangtown where they're able to set up a fob they get some defenses they get some emplacements but their survivability chances their survivability goes up the kit, the catch is that INS in the area know what's going on and they're mobilizing to try to stop them. So they have mines, they're going to be placed near bridges. We're going to see vehicles blow up because people aren't checking the roads. Stuff like that. That's all possible. The catch is, another catch is, another hitch in the uh, uh, system. If a Logi truck gets blown up on a bridge, or any vehicle gets blown up on a bridge, that the bridge cannot be used. This bridge is considered dead, and there's only and the Logi trucks are sorry. The Logi trucks must use a bridge to cross. They must use the bridge. They must stay on the road. They can't deviate from the road. MRAPs can go off the road. Logi trucks must stay on the bridge. So if a bridge is blown up, that means U.S. don't get supply at the end of their route. If bridges one, two, and three are blown up, if either if any of them are blown up, U.S. cannot build a fob and defend Hangtown. They'll still have to defend Hangtown rather, but they just won't have a fob while they do it. Stuff like that. That's that's generally what's going on here. Okay, it looks like I didn't miss the brief. We'll uh, we'll go into the, uh, this is a question in chat. I want to answer, and then uh, we'll. Uh, okay, gotcha. guys. We'll go into that after this. So I'm not going to overwhelm you with information. I'm not going to try and uh, give you every single detail of what we're going to do because plans are going to change on the fly. Basically, we're going to stay on the 
If you're looking at the map, the southern side of the river, we're not going to cross over into the hills marked with the marksman marker. All right, that's not the goal today. So we're going to do a, um, basically a platoon push on the south side of the river. And um, we're going to have our MRAPs and close support to drive off any trench enemy locations. We're going to have one squad uh, moving around to take the heights at Mike 11, Mike 12, uh, or engage anyone that goes there. Expect to have eyes on us pretty much right away and uh, for our full push up. Expect uh, the unexpected. So there could be guys in the compound at uh, Kilo 12. Uh, any of these buildings that are in this area will be Hat and Lat Central. Uh, pay attention for landmines along the route. Uh, the route clearing team, your SL, has probably already told you that your route clearing team. And... Um, just uh, keep up 3 six security and spacing. That's going to be the goal today, not to see any of you with mass tests to one grenade or getting flanked by one guy and your entire squad killed. So, and keep up uh, your spacing. I don't want to see a lat go off and four guys die. That's not the goal today. Uh, the rules of engagement will be determined by your squad leader at the time. He's going to make the call. Uh, he's not going to radio up to me. He's just going to make the call. So if anyone has any questions, uh, feel free to ask. Where do they start? Major Reno, they start in the township at Lima 11. Lima 11, that entire township marked with a machine gun marker. As well as the mountains and rivers. We don't really know where they start. Yep. You should be prepared immediately. Yeah. So, uh, any more questions? Yeah, where are we going? Yep. What's our we, are, we are trying to make it to the township in Lima 11. Um, and then we will map out a plan once we make it there. Uh, the, the plan for right now, though, is just to make it to Lima 11. And then uh, see basically what the enemy is doing from there. If we can push on, we will. If not, we'll establish uh, outposts there and uh, take control of the area. Any other questions? All right. Uh, I'm going to release you out to your squad leaders for your detailed briefings. Okay. That we can get four a. Do our south here, the big giant hill right there. They're going to set up up there. They're going to shoot down on the contact on the road. Um, while they're doing that, Silas is going to work around to the west on the river and try to get around behind the enemies. Um, and then Killer, uh, yeah, Killer J Squad. He's going to go to his move mark, which is in the area with the helicopter marks. And you guys are going to spread out in those fields kind of in the lower ground, but if the en enemy push into that low ground, you guys will be in a perfect spot to engage them. Londart squad, you guys are going to be set up along here, basically this hill we're on and across the road, and you're going to be defending the U.S. from pushing into the town. And kind of the idea is I want everyone to be very quiet on your guns, try to hold your fire until we have a lot of enemies in a good open area, and then we're going to all engage at once. Um, work with your SLs, it's going to be a lot of fun. Any thoughts or questions? Any questions, guys? So, nah, we, are we, we trying to let them? Are we trying to let them pass the first mine, or? Yeah, yeah, we we're gonna let them pass the first mine. Yeah. Uh, we're not going to harass them too much from there. I want to. I want them to kind of feel pretty secure, pretty safe, while we're getting up into position and let their guard down. Right. Right. Any other questions? Do we have a fallback point? All right. Well, let's go ahead and break out your squads. Uh, we have to start. The town. I don't know, man. We'll figure it out. Be off to the races. Yeah. The only thing I'm worried about is That's the uh, hill crazy. across the river at Lane Juliet 11. If they put their MRAPs up there, then we're kind of screwed. 
Right also, can I join and be ahead in a position when I join a server? Oh, we're live. Never mind. Uh, we're live. Vanguard's going. The lot. This is a transport truck. And immediately going off the road. And here's a dismount. Head of squad is going to hop out here. And we can see INS booking it. Three squads moving out from the objective. I don't think we can load in objective uh, people at this distance. Squad three also on route. Uh, three MAFVs are manned along with two Logi trucks. Everything is sort of getting shoveled over here. It looks like a fourth Mad V has just been manned. And I think it is a Crow's Mad, a Crow's, uh, Mad V. Uh, yeah, and they were told, N don't use that. <laughs> so, makes sense. Uh, convoy is forming at the front of US Main. Good times. We're gonna go ahead and grab command comms while we wait for everything to do. Ali Public Radio. Bink bonk. So now we have command comms for US in blue, INS in red. Like you spread, Heather. Good job. No, I guess make sure you stay on top of them for that. Yep. Is it weird that I think hey, McNugget? Well, I see McNuggets and I think McNuggies. They're moving west. Don't judge me. Copy that. Moving right. west, Juliet. Don't you nine. dare judge me for that. Keep a um, keep a brain cell on that. I'm here. Up here. Up here. I need to really fight them. You say keep a brain cell on that? You hear that, uh, Phoenix? Stand back, man. We're operating a Mevi uh, with a couple of new guys. Copy that. Be aware they'll be on the heights to the north. Yeah, apparently not. Uh, nobody out there, obviously, because it's a bit further away, but. This is the first big test. There's two squads in the southern hills here, and squad three is gonna have to get through. Uh, right now, INS are still maneuvering behind this hill, but squad three is in the open. Got about fire team size force in the open. I think our rather got his, or sorry, Alpha Guido is why they did, isn't he? So he's looking for people to shoot, and he found them because. It's Alpha Guido, and he knows what he's looking for. Oh, right, yeah, it's because uh, McNuggets and everyone is just running. They're just running across the hill. I don't think they spotted Alpha Guido. I am not certain if they spotted me. They're now crawling at the Juliet 12-5. They're continuing south, west, west in the river. Caveat that, just assume that they've spotted you. Hey, from our roof, you're to engage. Free to engage on your will. Hey, from. On your okay. will. Okay, so that's not the. Uh... Yeah, we're in contact right now to our east. Yeah, Big Nuggets getting shot at by an MG3. Makes sense. Edda about ready to shoot some people. Oh, let's go back over here. See AR trying to engage. Not exactly. Mahancho is stuck here. He's not in the best position. Maybe he needs to run. I don't think he he needs to remember that trees aren't cover. Meanwhile, in the north, uh head of squad started shooting through the red smoke. Hit a squad started shooting at INS. They were trying to crawl up the river here. Convoy, hold Charlie, Charlie team on the next three lines. We're going to spend the waiting moment for two and three to eliminate in contact with the north of the east. Hey, speed aware, 
Dash Quad 2 is going to be moving forward here shortly. Squad 2 moving forward. Hedda's Squad 2 it needs to get a move on. And a fire team size force now on the riverside. They're trying to push along the river. They're going to go straight into enemy contact. Squad 3's made it to the hill. They're climbing the hill right now. That's kind of crazy. I wonder if these... I need to turn up my mouse speed here. Movement speed right here. I wonder if... Uh, they're keeping enough cover. It's kind of hard to tell. Wow, that was like a... Sh was that a smoke moss? Oh, and I lost the smoke. That's weird. Reloading. Copy. Oh, multiple hits here. Greg Pants got tagged in Yandere. Uh, was also tagged. Seems to be it. Alpha's falling back. Meanwhile, north. INS forces are getting smoked out and that is really making a spearhead push here. Meanwhile, uh, bridge two being cleared at the moment. I know those are F maybe those are FTL smoke. No, that's not FTL smoke. It's too big. FTL smokes, but uh, the red ones were, maybe not the blue ones. I want to make sure their heads are down. Start suppressing towards the contact in the river. A little violence of action. Uh, necessary in order to proceed. So far, U.S. showing that they're willing to do it, but they are getting uh, slowed down. Go for squad one. Raggy, what I want you to do, I want you to fill the gap in between five and three. Uh, do not push up behind three. We're well, still going to be close. To the oh, I nest grenade. Almost hits Gimli there. Snowfall trying to climb up the hill here, almost uh, gets a chance to shoot Flame Magic and uh, Boss Revert. But, uh, at the same time, INS are falling back. They're showing they're reasonably pliable. down to six. Well, that does make sense. Because Inus only have two kills. U.S. are actually making a lot of progress. I think that was six for U.S. there. Yep. And they are Is that Dorf? Oh. Yeah, Dorf's got an AR set up in the back and Mancho is spotting for him. Yeah, that's part of three. So they're, now there's six part of three. There's six and three. You're just doing pretty well to start. Six kills is pretty strong for the early end of the off, but I think INS being elastic in the defense is also contributing here. One, please confirm you have enemy infantry contact northwest. You said you're left. No contact, my left is giving a command request for my uh <laughs>
Hedda still hasn't really made progress here. Oh lord, can I not lag? Although, Mart's, parts of his fire team are making their way up. Make it the way, Hangtown. Convoy has made it past the second bridge. And... No mines in the next area. It looks like the only mines, the next mines you're going to encounter are in bridge three. Lima 12 7, that's about a click from where they are. Uh, no, it's not about a click. It's about uh, 700, 800 meters from where they are right now. About a click to Hangtown, and then a click in a. I mean, if we ever get. If we if they get to Bridge 4, um, that'll be something. This is a one life event, Sparrows. Corota asking, are you familiar with the bug where you try to connect the server and the game crashes? Seems like a bad mod. We have revalidate files. I agree, it's lit. It's lit indeed. That's why I only got four hours sleep to cast this thing today. <laughs> Pretty much the entire map here. Because someone decides that 130 ops are legit. Uh, real, realness. Uh, why? They just shoot at that thing. It looks oh. like shit. I can't fucking tell. <laughs> uh, Jikazuki? Which sounds like the producer of a vehicle like this, uh, and Lemmy Cat are pushed out pretty far here. It's about halfway to the bridge. Oh, Lemmy Cat gets shot in the face from the side. That was a long shot because the way his body came out, it was almost like he got shot from up on the hill. That's definitely quite a piece. Gunner down, didn't even get a chance to shoot. Big rip. And Jigazuki's gonna have to turn around here and uh, find a gunner. Sacrifice to the randomness. That could have been Silas, actually. Is that close? I don't think Silas had a shot on it. Let's see, the Humvee was here. And he was looking away. No, maybe Silas did end him. Does Silas have kill? He has two. So it's entirely possible. U.S. has stalled in the s stalled in the north, but they're making progress in the south. Squad three has punched out past the southern rise, and they're making progress here. Dorfin Man Honcho uh, taking a, a little slower. But it is moving through. Uh, your at this point is just Gimli looks like fire team leader promoted or something, or maybe he the fire team leader just forgot to pass to Man Honcho. It's more likely the case. Uh, eight US kills, eight INS kills. We're even up, and this is the point where INS needs to really decide what they're going to defend. Looks like in the north they have that figured out. In the south. I wonder if they're still willing to give up any ground in the south. The convoy, uh, the convoy looks like one Vic plus two Lodgies holding on the other side of point one. Three Vicks looks like probably two pointing down, one trying to get eyes on this squad here. U.S. must know that there is significant defense inside this area right before this compound. I don't think North is really talking to South, except for like maybe Squad One, but it's only because Squad One has elevation. They probably see these guys moving. Squad Three is absolutely focused on punching East here, and I don't know if that's they need to stop and like get elevation. I think there everyone's trying to get higher up so they get the uh, elevation advantage on each other. Nick's problem 
Is it Lance Aubrey? I think no, Commander that's too far away. Times Mav V into the hills. The, they had some elevation to engage contacts in these fields toward north. Copy okay, that. so there must be there must be some harassment going on here at long range on squad one. Either that or Phoenix just looked o or Raggy just looked over here and was like, where'd it go? And Phoenix is like, nobody here and just decides to move a Humvee in. I can hear you now. Good. That was easy. You know that was easy button. I'm coming to you. Do you see the uh, white puppy field to your uh, west? Yeah. Can you get it? Northwest? Two's retreating. From the north. No. And five also pulling back. Yeah, that's fine then. I was just trying to. That honcho looking around. Oh, they're looking north. I like Dorf's idea here. Here we go. Dorf catches some guys out in the open. Overshooting a little bit. Puts around over our Scottish chap's shoulder. And now it's taking return fire. I was talking about the uh, watchtower in the town. Now that three is starting to stay put and fire on six here, might be seeing squad two get back in the uh, the Western business. And I think we are seeing that right now. They're trying to, from this moving, it looks like they're trying to find their way over and be very careful about looking through their Southwest. I can't see them on the map. That's my squad, uh, salty string of it. A bit of a cluster down there. Let's go take a look and see how crazy it is. Negative command. I'm just trying to find out who's in the lead vehicle. Hey, be careful, guys. I'm taking fire from the go northeast now, like far away. I got ammo right here. Hey guys, be careful. I'm taking fire. It's a pretty chill FTL uh, report here. Shoot about to get smacked if he decides to step out here. He's really lucky that no one spots him. Although, to be honest with you, I can, I can see a head. And it looks like a freaking rock. Oh, uh, get spotted. Yeah, he got spotted by, uh... Two of them. Morty's dead, too. Ramp's now starting to do some work here. Let's check the counts here. 11 kills to 8. All three of these guys have uh, been manned, and I guess someone tried to shoot at a... I'm guessing someone tried to shoot at a uh, MRAP just now. Jigazuki is soloing one of the MRAPs for squad five here. Smoke coming out. Looks like U.S. is going to get a uh, movement. An order of movement in here. And MRAPs are moving forward. Squad 3 still pushing further east. And they're going to try to throw themselves into round in the squad 2. But looks like they took a casualty. And that was probably Dwarf. Yep. 
Dorf a bit too overzealous there, pushed out uh, and died. Gimletron is like, oh man, there are people shooting at us, and that's Lance Aubrey with an MG3. Oh wait, you guys have an entire squad of infantry in reserve, not doing anything. Gee whiz. Raggy, tell your uh, M raps that yep, they are shooting some a little bit yeah. more to the right. They need to be shooting about 055. That's where the incoming rounds are coming from. Copy, 055. Command, I don't think we can make it to the mic. 124, uh, there's a full squad there. Okay, that's pretty smart. The uh, the call out that they're not gonna make it. That is still moving along the river. Let's see if we can find him real quick. That has got a fire team plus size force along the river. He took a lot of the brunt uh, first point here. He was the first squatting really contact. Uh, ooh, Matt V down. Jigazuki eats an RPG and explodes. That had some hang time to it, too. You can hear that thing. Right, Pow. You your MRAPs, there's still guys up on the hill, 055. I can see moving around up there. All right, Lancer, see if you can buy Three guys in squad five stuck, but, you know, it's... Yeah, I'm fine. Whatever. I mean, the grand scheme of things, the only thing, of, the only thing of value here that's lost is the SL, right? That's a lot less intel you're gonna get. Squad one, if this uh, Man Honcho fighting back in the south southeast took down a member of Squad Two, holding them back. He's one life offense, you should like to revive or nah? Nah. And one life offense, if you uh, ever see the give up screen, you're done. Bandages, absolutely. You can bandage someone who's bleeding. But if you ever see the give up screen, which means to say you're down, the new. You actually click the give up button. Oh, what was that? What in the world? I found a glitch in the matrix. We escaped to uh Yep, that's we gotta we gotta maintain the momentum here. Oh no between the uh between the bullets. Well either I'm about to crash or the environmental artist that the the fog needs to uh reevaluate things. Talk another one in the V2 bug. From zero four, uh, or There's zero no one in this Mad V. Yes, halfway up the hill. Oh, they're just ditching the Mad Vs? I guess they've both been hit significantly. They're both smoking, but... Why would you not use them? If you get these... Um... MRAPs. Had to make a progress in the north. The uh, meanwhile, Matt Honcho. Um, it's just down to Matt Honcho and a medic in the southeast, so don't look like it's going to go that way. If Squad 2 decides they want to move out, they uh, they could get some progress here. Meanwhile, Head is running straight towards Killer J on the river, and it's just one hill between his squad and contact, and it's not going to be pretty. You don't see me free stalker Killer J. Might have a chance here, and they're waiting for him to come across this, come up over this hill. Here we go. You don't need magnifiers to see Killer J, but he doesn't see him, and he runs around. Does Killer J notice anything? No, he's actually looking at the river. Push it. Oh, it's because they're not pushing the river. 
Wow, we uh we we left reality and we're now in Quake. And this this is this is actually Quake. What in the world, guys? Maybe I just need to stay away from <laughs> geometry over here. Uh, I don't even know what those are. Those are like unbound textures or something like that. Like, uh, those look like building textures actually and not fog. I could be wrong. Up there. Sorry to turn off an option here. Gee whiz. I mean, those those are gotta be those are gotta be building textures. Um, round zipping in. Someone freaking died. Wish I could see where that came from. You don't see me. May have uh, actually got up here and got a shot. That's Doctor Daedric. Ineffective. Head uh, is about a fire team size force here. And he's got all of his guys together. Silas Oddball and Digit are still chilling in the middle of the field here. And it's kind of hard to tell, but Head is now starting to make some progress forward. together just before this next bridge one make sure not to group up you're a little uh, close together phoenix uh trying to make some progress forward and uh oh boy looks like an mrap got hit they recruit the uh stationary mraps here i mean they're smoking so they've taken some damage they may have taken like parts of a hit but not a square on hit Well, I believe Killer J died. I think we have one confirmed dead, but I am down to four effective. Copy that. Killer J got uh, Killer J got jumped here. Redibus eats AR at distance. I think Dash B getting some revenge there. Uh, yeah, Dash B's deployed. Can you split off a fire team to have one kill out too? On the other side of the, this hill, we have one more. Yeah, and so that was uh, was a Lancer calling out. You don't see me. Who you can't see right now. Now you can. Uh, you don't see me. He's falling back a little bit. So. Oh boy, Silas said straight towards him, and they just got a suggestion that maybe the uh, the road is safer. Which, uh, not gonna happen. Although Silas Oddball and Digit are crawling. Oh, what is this? Where do these guys come from? Saber's just rolling. Does he know these guys are in the field? He's running past Digit. Digit's gonna know someone's in front of him. Is he gonna shoot? He's doing a double take right now. He hears footsteps all around him. Silas is not gonna let that chance go away. Redivus is dead. North on the other end of this field. Redvis was already dead. Redvis may have already been dead. We want to continue with this convoy. We need to clear this compound to my northeast. Copy that. That's what we're going right now. Simply, how, how did Oddball get killed right there? What? I'm confused. And oh boy, Imanaz just rips a squad leader to death. Even I was gunning the uh, last, and Matt V killed a squad lead. Yeah, we got to regroup with a different SL. With four, with four, let's go with four. And Lancer at least deciding, hey, let's find something to do. Silas, meanwhile, must be thinking, holy crap, what am I doing here? What am I doing here? What am I doing here? Guys, Uncle Niner is literally looking through the weeds to try to find people. Lots of shots as Phoenix and Storm pushing into the uh, the village here. Silent Alpha Guido 
and company are holding bridge three. Although U.S. forces, squad one, the remainder of three have punched through low ground. And they're pushing down the hill. One, be advised that there is uh, contact in between you and five. Okay, well, there's AR. JV just booking it. You can hear it. In front of us, in front of us! And whiffs, ev I whiffs half a mag, I'd rather it's got his chap. Frank, 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 that might kill him, though. He gets Greg Pants, and that grenade. Oh, yeah, he's dead. Rip. You whiffed half of mag, and then you died. Grenades being traded all around the world. Mr. Aggie decides, you know what? Fuck cover. And now he's taking, being taken shots at, or being taken, uh, or it's, he's being shot at. Unsurprising, he's not in cover at all. He's just trying to disappear, and Hope is just like, yeah, this is a cool idea. And Mahancho decides, yeah, I want a bunny hop. Legit Counter-Strike going is being played right here as Hovis and uh, Hancho decide to just run in. Salty Threats here in Phoenix, meanwhile, are on the... Uh, object... or not objective, but they're near Bridge 3. Uh, once again, U.S. are trying to get to this town, oh, Hangtown, and out. then push and clear this bridge. This is their main objective, oh, the whole man. reason for existence. Just they are on the third bridge now. There's a little ridge line on the map. There are two uh, mines at the opposite end of this bridge. There they are. The right dots on the on the bridge. U.S. objective is to clear all bridges, secure Hangtown. 20 kills to 23 for INS. INS winning. Lots of smoke being deployed here as maybe uh, they don't want to die. The Counter-Strike st strat is stopped. I'll cover the yeah, I turned it off. He's licking right. Halberd that and not... Uh, I didn't realize at first that he was licking the wrong thing. I totally forgot to turn it off. Ooh, RPG. Uh, why? What? Are Inus that bored? They're trying to take like 500 meter shots at stationary targets and miss. Seems likely. Hey, if you're Copy that. Cool. Love these textures. I bet you this was from leftover from when the freaking start, like, Easter egg spectator room thing was underground. Uh, so now INS have the unintentional wraparound on U.S. forces. U.S. forces are pushing through to try to secure bridge three. Leave 12-7-5. Uh, down to about uh, three, two squads, like two squads, ish. Inus taking a pretty passive approach here. Uh, they have a lot in reserve. Obviously, Inus have the advantage, but it's not a big one. But they are defending, so. Silas still waiting. Silas patient. I don't know if Silas patient, guys. Uh, Silas, Silas just don't want to die. And to be honest with you, I don't blame him. My squad leading style is very much send assault element, uh, or, or more like order support element to base a fire, send assault element into combat. <laughs> and then like use binoculars around corners so it's pretty much what i did last time i played a one life event and surprise uh it was a lot of fun so if you're interested in trying something like that 
come join us at Squad Ops. You know, grab your basic SOTT course calendar on the calendar, Squad Ops at GG slash calendar, and uh, you too could uh, inch slowly up a road on Coat Valley. Oh man. One and can you guys clear the bridge of the mine? Have a yeah, hold up. Alright, so there are two mines to clear. No IEDs in play. But there be some mines. Southeast. Ooh, Thrasher. Is that a GL? I, I thought that was friendlies once or two. Wasn't that friendlies? No, no, no. No. Oh. RPG oh. coming in. Oh, he yeah. Eats Lancer. So I guess it came from. Uh, get away from that. I get away from that. Get away from that. Yeah. How about you actually find some cover instead of just sitting in the open? Is that Scottish? Could have been Scottish. I don't think it was Scottish, maybe it was someone else. Could have been Jericho. Squad one, do you have Remy Churn and about face? He has got X behind him to the east. Alright, Silas finally made it out of the hill there. Lots of shots being taken. As U.S. moves to secure bridge number three, they call it clear. Oh no! They need to get. Whose smoke is this? And why are they screwing up everything? Oh no! Mav bees are gonna die for this. Oh no! Both the mines look like they're still there. Connors is the one north. They put rocks up there. Oh my god. They put rocks in the middle of the bridge. There's still the two mines here. Oh no. If there's a mine on there, I think it's all right. Twisty eats a mine. Bridge three is down. Well, it has been cleared. It actually took out both mines. They were placed too close together. Twisty's lost his tires, but he still exists. Maybe he's just trying to check and see if the other mine's here. He's just pushing forward. Meanwhile, US are just getting annihilated. Inflate fire. Or, sorry, uh, flanky fire up the ditch has caused problems, and I think Twisty's either burn up or he found another mine. Um, and it's gone kind of pear shaped for uh, US at this point. Moral loss. Sorry, I just sneezed there. Uh, it's a moral loss for them, mainly because they're not going to win at this point. They're now 10 kills down, over 10 kills down. They lost MV and Bridge 3 is closed, which means they can't reinforce OP at Hangtown once they get there. And Command is dead. Command comms, anyone? Paladin is now leading from behind the convoy. And I think he's now realizing there's no one on command comms. Because there's no one on command comms. Paladin is running the show by himself. Uh, and as far as other friendlies, there's not much. I think we're down to maybe seven U.S. soldiers left. Against two, four, six, eight, 14, 15, 24. Oh, I see him. 223. Kind of a lot of people. 
Maybe less than 20. Maybe I miscounted. I think they're just bored now. They're just shooting ATs into the uh, into the distance here. MG3 being a cover fire here as Silent Honu. Silent gets decapitated by Salty with this rear blocking position, but uh, doesn't see Honu lean out around the, uh, the ditch here. Big rip. Smart take it by Honu there. All right, so trying to a close here. He said there's a mine they still went for it. I mean, I'm pretty sure I thought the other one exploded. Whatever, he blew up the bridge, so now you just have to proceed on foot and clear the town. So the objective is now defense for INS forces and an attack for US forces, which is not going to go in their favor. Charlie Foxtrot is still, still you know, is still chilling. I wonder if he's just siphoning resources from the Lodgy. I mean, that's what I would try. US forces are going down here. Simply Shade, Shred Turtle are the only ones here forward for US forces. I think Honu is starting to look in there. Yeah, here comes Alpha Guido and Honu. Honu's gonna hop this fence, hop this hill, and he's gonna be in there. Grenades, though. They both take pieces. The second one gets them both. Shooting from this direction. Oh, look at it. It's the last man alive. Charlie Foxtrot. One of the drivers for the Lodgy who has a T4 stick. I believe he is the last one. So we'll be going to a round two here pretty shortly. But hey, you know, thanks guys for coming out and doing things and being alive and living in this world and, you know, existing. I appreciate that. I appreciate you, you know, you're trying. You're doing things. Just like, just like Charlie Fox right here. He's trying, he's doing things. I'm getting 12% pack of loss. We're not talking about it. It went away. Uh, all right, he's gonna run in the open, which I mean, what can you do? Except for be the uh, the target that every, that every INS person hopes to see in their lifetime. Yeah, that's the it's the 250 meter target that runs and doesn't shoot back. So we're just waiting for uh, this guy to run into Silas, maybe because he could shot beforehand. He's running towards Silent and Digit right now, and I think Digit may be blocking the road. Uh, maybe not. He wants fame. I don't know about that. He, uh, he wants not to die miserably. So, okay, maybe Digit wasn't blocking. Oh, great. We're in the glitch town. Fantastic. Silas gets a corner peek on him. Corner slice on him. And that's GG round one in the books. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll be right back with round two after... Um, I play some music and get something to drink and those sorts of things. Alright, so we're gonna get a brief here from Rose Dragon commanding. Alright, hopefully everyone else come on blow. over quickly. Get done staring in their phones or whatever they're doing. Watching right, the Bradley dance. You guys. Yeah, the Bradley's kind of dancing. I don't know what's up with that. It's cool. But anyways, all right, guys. Welcome to Operation Vanguard Round 2. That was a very fun uh, red team session we just did. Uh, we did a great job beating 2nd Platoon there, so nice work, everyone there. That was a lot of fun.
So uh, for this round, we're going to be pushing up the road. We're going to clear off the road with some mines potentially on each bridge marked with the mine mark on your maps. Uh, we need to clear those out, make sure it's safe, and then set up shop in the town at the fob mark. So that's our objective. That's what we're doing. In order to do that, we're going to do the following. Silas's squad is going to run all of our MRAPs, provide close defense support for the Lodgies. Myself and Londarts will be driving to with the Lodgies so that we can uh, let you guys have more of the fun shooting. Um, from there, we're going to have uh, Killer J squad is going to be on the west side of the road up here at this uh, hat mark, kind of at doing it live. Um, he's going to be providing Overwatch support from there. And then we have squad three, Alpha squad will be kind of down the hill. He's going to be, his squad will be kind of attached to the road and you guys will be helping clear the bridge when we approach them. Uh, Lawn Darts squad will be in the position on the other side of the road at the mine mark or at the marksman mark doing the same job, just kind of working in tandem with Guido squad. Again, closing close to the road, being pretty there, uh, being helping with the clearing of the bridges when we get out there. And then Spen Squad will be up on the hills, kind of a little bit further on the east side of the road, up on the machine gun mark. And they'll be providing overwatch support and protection. We're going to keep this as a fairly tight group. Uh, we're going to move move together. And if you see a suspicious bush, please blow it up. Please shoot it. Do whatever you want to the bushes. Just If it looks suspicious, shoot at it. Ask questions later. We're going in guns blazing. Anything that wants to shoot us, we're going to hit it first. Any questions? Can you please do your best Mel Gibson impression and tell us that that we should put three bullets into anything that looks suspicious? Well, if it's dead, and then you'll shoot, you shoot it. Go shoot it. So go shoot all the bushes. All right. It's not uh, what if you spark a fire? What's the firefighting procedure? Plan. Um, let it Piss burn. on it. Uh. Oh, all right, baby. let's break it out and get set it's up. It's not our country. Uh, we're going to practice on the first bridge. Whoa, now. Hearts and minds, my guy. Hearts and minds. Good luck, guys. Alright, so. Copy that. Uh, it's going to be more north. I guess, I mean, obviously taking the hill at Kilo 13-9 is pretty strong. But, I mean... Like I said... The the area between bridge two and bridge three is the actual problem here. Green sky, whatever. Well, it's one of those. Live, laugh, live. Flicker, thanks, bud. We're live with round two, Operation Vanguard. U.S. moving out. Looks like they're gonna assume bridge one is clear. Cause Silas just rolling up. And straight to bridge two. Uh, let's see. Seabass, yeah. laser vision. Yeah. Possible mines sees two sets of rocks. And looks like the second set of rocks may have the mine. Nope. It's actually right here in the middle. One mine confirmed to the bridge, so 4K monitors are good for squad, FYI. Handle that mine while Guido's pushes. Roger. I mean, it's basically the chief for squad, right? The chief for squad is you get a 3000 series GT, like GTX card, and you, well, the 240 MRAP is engaging targets at range. That's good. Guys, 4K monitors are the cheat. What are they Loaded. shooting at, actually? Yeah, one fire, one fire. One fire. Copy. I think it was just suppression. Maybe they saw... people skylining? Which is possible. Oh my god, that freaking texture. Um... I'm just kidding my uh, <sighs> they're, they're on top of the madrasa this is a very defensive posture from INS although we can see now INS forces two squads moving out one squad north side on the road with an RPG and an AR so this is clearly a spotting team or some sort of uh, 
you know, off-axis defense sort of guy. And the second squad is now climbing the hill. Three, let's go ahead and have your guys push past five. Paladin, whose squad didn't really see a lot of action until the end of the round there. Uh, they're going to take the hill at Kilo 13-9. So squad 4v squad 4, Sven has been ordered to take that hill. They're still climbing at this point. We won't see we won't see them shooting at each other for at least another minute or so. Let's take a look at that. Yeah, you see uh Ina Squad 4 is still climbing. Nope. Saber 253 gonna have eyes on first. Copy that. Once he reaches the actual hill proper. Yep. Uh, and you can see on. Squad 4 uh, RPG. being shot early squad four in the uh in the valley between these two hills starting to push they need to get a move on because ins are going to get here soon if ins skirt around the side of the hill that might be good uh mraps starting to suppress this hilltop here i think they might have spotted saber the saber's going to fall back a little bit paladin punching out south RPG shot a little short by about uh, 100 meters. Is that 100 meters? No, it's not 100 meters. It's more like 80, Copy. 70, 80. Hold on, let me actually do some math here. Okay, so yeah, it was like 150 meters. Guys, be, using the admin cam and trying to like figure out where things are is not it's not conducive to ranging in the game, I swear. There's a reason why I have the map open so often, guys. So, mine clearing team has finished clearing the bottom, and I believe they've cleared them. They have not cleared the mine on top. Flicker is still looking at the mine. Why am I saying Flicker? He's the admin. Uh, wait. Fluffs is the other mag. Fluff is the other admin. Why am I saying? Fl oh my gosh. Okay, here are the two event admins: Fluffs, McGruffs, and Flicker, doing work. Uh, 07 to these guys because they're good. Get push is looking under the bridge for mines and explosives. Doesn't see any. They still haven't cleared the top of the bridge. So that mine is still there on uh, bridge two. U.S. taking a very strong posture here on top of hills, north side of the road. And here we go, squad three moving up the river. Squad four stalled a little bit. Looks like they found a hill to sit on next to the road. AT4 being shot. Spence Five squad, your, uh, very, uh, very careful here. Here, we got a few kills. Nice. No. They, they did not get kills. Does look somewhat clear, at least up to Juliet 1251. From what I Sorry to say, but... They... Copy that. Feel free to continue pushing northeast along those little hills to the edge of the fields in Juliet 122. Something? His fire team lead saw uh, something. Give me guess. Probably K11-1-5. K11-1-5. Either K11 or... Um... Oh! You saw the guys north side of the road, so I guess those guys are getting suppressed. Maybe that's where the RPGs were coming from earlier. Hovis has been hit at range. That bullet drop off is significant. Must have got zinged by an AR at that range. Uh oh. 
Oh no, Silas ran over a mine and Seabass is dead. And Bridge One is gone. And Silas calling it right. There were two sets of rocks on the first bri on second bridge there, so bridge two is closed. Oh no, a TK. Check your fucking fire, you still one of my guys. Yeah, it's NSA spy. Three, go ahead and hold those fields for now. Is a double agent. Alright, so uh dismount the lodges, they're useless. Can't cross the bridge. They're still going to push forward. Or continue your advance if possible. Right? Hold on. Let me check the document here. We have rules for these operations. Uh, let's see. They had eyes on our location. They were glassing us. U.S. vehicles destroying a bridge. No other vehicles may use that bridge. Vehicle wreck on a bridge. One, two, or three means U.S. may not advance. So wreck's not on... The wreck's not on the bridge itself. Although Rose Dragon has ditched his... Uh, his uh, Lodgy. Very nice. Very nice. I must admit, I'm quite intoxicated. <laughs> oh. I'm so sorry right. to admit this. Oh, it's all right, man. It's all right. here. Uh, Minnow here has been enjoying nightlife, guys. This is what hap This is what happens when our 1330 op is. All the euros come out and they're sloshed. No I'm kidding. Not all the euros are sloshed. Uh, so one casualty so far in his sea bass got blown up because he was in a MRF to hit a mine. Copy that. Spread out for INS forces in the south slowly getting a little bit more confident trying to get up here on this, uh, on this hill. One at your discretion. Have your guys continue advancing as they see fit. Say we're looking for people to shoot here. He's got Binox out, and I wonder if he's trying to spot people. I wonder if he sees outlines of people moving along the wall. Meanwhile, Sven has climbed the hill, and he is shooting at Paladin. AT4 misses, overshooting. Overshooting the hill by about 10 meters. Oh, Paladin is trying to use the bushes to get out of there. And he's, oh, he's visible. But he makes it behind cover. Shred Turtle's been hit. And he's in a much more precarious situation, although he could probably crawl to get out of there. Thanks to the terrain. And he's gonna move a little bit faster here. Saber falling back as well. And it looks like this squad is gonna fall back east. Down the hill, maybe uh, skirt along this hillside here. Squad three making progress halfway up the farm field. They're doing some work. And a call out again. Kill 11. Kill 11 3, kill 11. Uh, so the call out must have been for these guy for the uh, RPG team, fire, the fire team up here in the north. That road that's like India 11, Kilo, Juliet 11, Kilo 11. Okay, so they called out the road again. So, must be Hovis making some shots on the convoy or something. The Lodgy's across the bridge. 
Maybe the vehicle wreck is not blocking the bridge, so it's still open. Could be the interpretation being used right now. Uh, U.S. making some real strong gains here on the farm field, though. And they're starting to get towards the other end of the, uh, the field here. You can see Alpha Guido leading a fire team. His squad is making progress. One fire team along the river, one fire team straight up the middle of the farm. Major Reno and Abyss waiting for these guys at the end. And Alpha's holding on. Rose is going to task five to go north of the river. He's already got a fire team there. This is kind of dicey. Anyone climbing this hill is going to get strafed by AR fire. But it's not... Oh, RPG kills Toasty. Frag round hits him and he eats everything. Insta-death. Stevo and Git Push are crawling to find something here. Asasa right behind them. It's getting shot at. Looks like an MG3. And... Oh boy. They're trying to use the bushes here, but Stevo has been spotted. This is not safe. This is kind of reckless. MRAP is going to support three here while Squad 5 climbs the hill. Squad 5 not taking a lot of fire? Well, uh, I say that and then I see Tracer. Although, maybe the tracer is... Eh, not entirely sure. Uh, check it back in on Sven up here. Sorry, Fisco. That's what you get for gunning the MRAP, my guy. <laughs> uh, it's, it's, it can be glorious if it works, but sometimes it, uh, it don't. Don't let your hand drop. Make sure your point gets easy. MRAPs are all, two MRAPs off road, one in the farm, one up down here in the, uh, in the hills, and Dash B and NSA looking to redeem NSA's, uh, we just got into position. Wonder who got that shot. Well, I don't know if it was one tap, but you probably got, you probably got, uh, sliced by an AR. I'm telling you, MG3s are pretty strong if you find someone who can shoot them straight. GL's coming out here towards Exoskeleton. It looks like this fire team lost a man. Hovis is still up. He has the RPG. The skeleton's gonna fall back. So the river, the river town push. These guys came from Hangtown anyway, so it didn't really matter. But these guys are gonna fall back here. Alpha's dead. Oh no. Did Reno get a kill? Yeah, Reno, yeah. Reno got a kill and Abyss got a kill, so they both got one. Okay. So this was Alpha's squad pushing through the farm. Uh, didn't clear the. Uh, Copy that. Didn't clear the riverside, and now they're sort of slowing down. The idea was for five to come up and provide Overwatch for three moving in. That's not happening. So now Honu taking over the squad, and it looks like we got an RPG hit. Put us down. So the center MRAP is gone. I swear that was was that a was that a was that an incendiary round or was it uh was it AR fire like a tracer blew up or something? I look. Oh, there it is again. 
Oh yeah, there it is. It's coming from Matt Honcho and Dor it might be coming from uh, Mr. X right there. It looks like he's deployed on the side of the uh, wall. Yeah, it was definitely an MG3. Yeah, guys, MG3s. MG3s are good. Look at that again. Viper dodging bullets while crawling on the ground like a madman. Meanwhile, Honu has pushed back the riverside defense here. Uh, Abyss and... Was it Abyss? Uh... The Matt underscore and Ishmi falling back. And this is a bit of a stronger point to hold. Now that they've actually got to the wall and to the intersection here, I think three would feel a little bit more confident in trying to get into this compound and using the uh, using the compound to their advantage. Alpha DC. Alpha DC. If Alpha DC'd, then maybe he didn't get killed. I thought Alpha rejoined his squad. Do you have any more MRAPs on the main road? Negative, we have I guess Alpha DC'd. Okay, that makes more sense. Although I thought, uh, was it, uh... We have abandoned 240. Dude Pro got a kill, but maybe he wasn't on an Alpha. Alpha's coming back in on a transport, so I guess he's gonna just roll up. Is he just going to YOLO it? I don't know. INS, very, very defensive posture here. They've fallen back further than when... Uh, I guess not as far, but this is pretty good progress from US. But this was the brick wall that US hit round one. So US have an entire squad up here on the Northern Hill. Complete with a GL. Revy has a cheeky position over here, looking to retake the hill, possibly. They're hiding from the northern hillside. Are you able to that could be interesting. We'll see what happens when... Uh... Copy. Wait, are Freestalker looking for these guys? Freestalker a minute here might be looking for these guys. Morty is shooting on the village, causing a bunch of INS to find cover. Yeah, five. I want you to set up on that ridge line you're currently on, and then engage contacts. I wonder if Morty saw these guys in the low ground here. He's looking. He's got binocs out. Is he gonna take a shot on Abyss? He's shooting at. Okay, Morty's shooting at Hedda and Ishmi, and he gets destroyed. By an MRAP. <laughs> is that another MRAP TK? Yeah, it is. I'm not trying to make excuses, but he was doing something kind of dumb. Alright, have, focus on, have that oh. focus on the buildings proper. We know enemy contacts are. Let's try to limit the power oh, here. Good F's in the chat for more to you guys. Oh lord! Yeah, oh man, the 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 football field, the football field is cursed. I hear shots up here. Oh, GL's being fired, so I guess skeleton peaked in big rip. Uh, seeing our numbers tick up here, sixty-six people watching across. Uh, Twitch, YouTube, and Twitter. So thanks, guys. Yes, we are streaming on Twitter. Follow us. Twitter.com slash squad ops. Is squad underscore ops. I don't know. I should be able to tell that right now. Oh, let me launch Twitter. Squad underscore ops.
lines and engage the attack here. Looks like the second GL is over here somewhere, firing smokes, trying to get Gish, trying to get uh, get push Devo and Sasa out maybe. Meta here is now running five. That's cool. I can just mark a position and it'll show up up here. That's smart. Sometimes the uh, sometimes WDI does cool things. Although it is my uh, every stream reminder to OWI that outlines still don't work as intended. So get on that OWI. Let's go. Make outlines great again. Uh, let's see here. All right. Oh, Hovis gets killed. That's the RPG gone from the Northern squad. Northern fire team, rather. Let's see if I can find who did that. You need ammo? Yeah, ammo back. Uh, yeah, ammo back would be. Yeah. Woo! Uh, there was a little bit between the, the fields. Thank you. Thank you. Do we have a As long as I don't rearm grenades there, uh, the ammo bag should stretch for a little while. Whoa, grenades! Lancer and Daedric are dead. Honu runs up on Aunt Redibus and freaking kills him. Way to go, Honu. Way to go, Honu. Machine Uggs grabs a uh, grenade while he's here. And he's got the bandage he's hit. RPGs now the biggest threat. Basically, point-and-click weapons. The clo closer the U.S. gets, the, the the easier it is to point-and-click and remove U.S. soldiers from the fight for INS. MG3 is firing. Let's take a look at the positions here at Hangtown. Command sitting in the bunker. It's a bottle of squad plus size force on Hangtown itself. Uh, numbers are kind of even. Got nine kills for US to 10 for INS. Remember there's two key, two TKs on US. So the number is, the numbers are more in uh, US's favor, or sorry, INS's favor at this point. Sasa, Steve, and Gitbush make it to a compound. This is a really good position, and they should probably not leave it until they get a lot more people there. Although the line from the north is kind of like equalized here. Uh, you can see Alpha Guido, the rest of his squad. They're trying to figure out what's the next place to proceed, and it makes sense to sweep around north side of the hill. Silent uh, making point on this uh, yeah, river push, continuing along. There's still a pretty strong position, and there's still an entire squad down here in the south. Let's take a look at this real quick, because we haven't really spent a lot of time south on the South Mountains. A full U.S. squad. Is Hova still alive? He's living on like less than 10 HP then. And the MRAP, NSA making up for lost time here. Hey, look, look, at, look straight north, straight north down. As his MRAP gets popped, he's still taking fire. Okay, now we're loading up for Two, are you still with us? MG is basically right over his head. Back up. Sharpie gets uh, knocked back because he was standing beside a vehicle. It's really not, uh, it's a pretty straightforward engagement from here. You can see Snowfall firing on people who he thinks his head is popping up. He's got Uncle Niner, I think. 
be dead in that tree. Move as you see fit. Yeah. Oh, maybe he hit simply Shay. Which could make more sense. Lip is kind of separated from his guys and he's crawling away. <laughs> he's been hit. On the bridge, on the bridge. Oh man, look at this. We gotta go back up north because Squad 3 just killed Salty. He was a guy that I saw on the map there. Is Hope is still alive? Let's check. Signs point to yes. And a grenade being thrown. Does that bounce? No, it does not have the distance. And now Alpha and uh, Kilroy McCoy are freaking out. Exoskeleton and Revy are still alive. making moves over here but four kills nix is down i think he was that uh, he think he was the mg3 gunner that uh that did get some work on earlier on in the round at range ins starting to abandon the southern hill they're moving down the hill trying to find a way to help defend hangtown you it looks like u.s assault on hangtown is going to be real uh, we still have Abyss and Ishmi guarding Bridge 3. And they have pretty strong spots. Although Kings... No, maybe not. I was going to say Kings might be looking to this direction, but he's prone. You can barely see him right here. Prone watching the road with an AR. All the smokes are being put in here, and we have mine clearing in process. Sasa looking, uh, he didn't see anyone. They're crawling along the bridge trying to check these mines. There should be two of them here. Stevo's found one. More smokes being deployed. Rounds hitting right in... F no, those aren't rounds. Those are just things. I think maybe Git Push is digging the other one. He got two dug. He looks like there was a rock, there was rocks that was dug in a mine. Uh, the second mine here in Lima 12-7 is still operational. I wonder if they're not going to clear it. So if the MRAP just pushes across here, where's the MRAP? Below me. I thought I heard one. I, yeah, I did hear one. It was Silas and Muff Bandit. Three, let's have you guys for that. The creek bed provided, uh, attack the mosque. Go ahead, Morse. Enemies running yeah. near So good spot for Silas. Catching people. The Southern Hill guys are running across the road. There is smokes being deployed. And it looks like we're going to see a uh, assault of Hangtown starting to be realized even more now. What is that? Oh, rip. Abyss and Ishmi get killed. I wonder how. I didn't. I, I didn't see how exactly that went down. I guess it was uh, Sasa and Gitbush. They weren't. I guess the smoke dissipated and uh, they were in the right place at the right time. Sasa, can you catch me up? Alpha has gone out of the river and is in the creek bed and here comes the assault. Alpha's going in. Last Reaver gets killed in a murder hole. Whoopsie doo. And grenades being thrown. That was an AT grenade. Watch the grenade. Oh! Oh shit! Xcom knives flew, mage! You good, Xcom? Xcon's been hit, but he gets two. What an amazing! Oh my God! McNuggets is killed by Alpha Guido through the door. 
Let's go There's only three, three left in the Madrasa. Right, right. I'll go, I'll go left. Three, yes. two, one. Oh, no. What a push! They didn't even realize he was coming up over the oh, hill. No. Uh, over the uh, wall. No. Kilroy gets dwarfed through the window. It's just Honcho. No, Boogie's uh, not even outside, not even inside. He's through the bush. I guess Alpha's dead. Yeah, there's a MG3 in the... Kilroy gets killed. I think that was Honcho through the door. Boogie caught uh, trying to peek a corner. Xcron getting a third kill. Matt Honcho, I think. Yeah, I don't know. That's the one inside, man. Do you got frag? Oh, st I got yeah. one. Let's fucking go. <laughs> let's let's go. Xcron gonna bank that thing in there. Honcho, only way out is Xcron dead. Matt Honcho is down. What a trade. What a what an awesome effort by Xcron there. Getting the having the awareness to push the corner and getting a knife kill. Gimbletron gets destroyed by Silas in the MRAP. We good? Yeah. Meanwhile, Silent is uh in the field. Hovis taking shots. Uh, south of the bridge has a LAT in it. I've also seen enemies running northwest. 30 kills army, 20 kills INS. Running into the hills. INS has uh, disintegrated. They've even fallen back north of the bridge. Four, go ahead and keep suppressing from up there. One, I'm, you're going to have to be the main. There is, looks like here. six INS north of the bridge. There's only a handful of INS remaining, including command. Uh, I see six people in front of me here on the south side of the bridge. So INS have started to give up Hangtown, but they're still holding their positions. I think they're still. Uh... If you come in that window where I was looking, okay. you can see the entrance. Oh, they never. Uh, they didn't really clear the the building here, the school. Yeah, hold, hold grenades. I don't know why I call this a madrasa. I'm just, whatever. This structure is not being cleared. The minaret building. We'll just call it that. They got a good Greg Pants looking through all the windows. Should get a pretty good idea that the building's clear from here. Woo! He might even sweep around the front side and go in the front door and clear everything else himself. And he should be fairly clear to do so. No one's going to have a shot on him. INS taking pot shots from the hill. Hovis, Exoskeleton, and Revy chilling here, doing their thing. Revy's got Binox looking for targets for Hovis. Is Exoskeleton an AR? No. They don't have their AR anymore. North side of the bridge. Horny Uncle Niner, AR posted up here along with uh, Charlie Fox, Josh Twisties, and Shred Turtle. One, let's get your looking for things to shoot. Looks like Foxtrot is a uh, lat. Might even have a shot here that he wants to take. He's got his uh, he's got his rocket. He's got his RPG out. Paladin Chicken, uh, Kimchi, Head of Matt, and Storm are holding the buildings closer to the bridge. U.S. still making progress here. Yeah, we have two. Two ramps still up for U.S. And it looks like an MRAP has actually driven around a mine in Lima 12. So, lucky. RPG shot missed. Maybe Chicken thought he could get a shot on the uh, MRAP there. MRAP providing some fire down the road here. Lots of suppression going on. M and US are able to push under the suppression. Look at it from the U.S. perspective here. Get some U.S. locals. Rose Dragon commanding now in the thick of things. And we'll just uh, hold up here. Be advised, I'm still getting contact. Uh, Copy. Northwestern compound, south of Bridge okay. Four. Just gotta take a flat shot at. Copy that. Four. I want you to focus on pushing down hey, my, towards that compound hey, my, and clearing it. I think that's where yeah, the last the enemies are. Compounds north my my guy can't make it back, FYI. He's pinned down by a okay. Muslim. Right. All right, well, 
tell him when he's able to. We're gonna set up shop here. One's Copy. gonna do the prime clearing. Yeah, be advised. I think this guy in the compound is a last Mosin or something. Copy. Chicken is a Mosin. Yeah, I'm calling uh, the other guy. Somebody's got a Mosin. Can't tell. Chicken's got a frag and he's loaded for bear. Looking to shoot anything that comes through the compound door. AR from above almost catches Paladin out of position. And Paladin's like, oh my god, where did it come from? Oh, it's from our southeast. And that was uh, Blue Jericho. AT. Oh, that was a latch shot. Another latch shot. Uh, catches Sven. Headbust is dead. Ina still being felt and heard here. And looks like the MRAP has been abandoned. Yeah, it looks like it's gonna pop. Hopefully Dashby doesn't get killed by the MRAP popping here. No, they clear the they clear the wreck. Horny Uncle Niner has actually crawled through the river, I guess, or is he crawled through the bridge? He's not crawled through the bridge. He's crawled. He's gone across the river, and uh, he's got a. He's getting a pretty nice position. I say nice position, but uh, can't really do much from there. I imagine if this wall wasn't there, Silas would have shot him by now. Yeah, Abram, I was cracking him earlier. Okay, yep, yeah. this Revy looks like Hovis actually died. Rip. Only five across the river now. A horny, come, horny Uncle Niner comes down and makes uh, three, seven now south of the river. Lots of suppression coming out here still. Yeah, let's get up to even with the mob. And the north guy's still being still being heard. I guess they're just trying to looks like a bunch of smokes I've been here fired from uh, FTL or GL. I think there's smokes being thrown on the road here too shortly. I see someone look like they're trying to... Maybe not. Yeah, let's go real on that now, Rabbit. Thank you. I'm joking. Please, please. 30 ammo left on it. Two, are you still with us? We're gonna have to smoke the house, I think. Rags being thrown. Grenade. Like they're starting to, uh... Nice call out there. And smoke's being deployed on the road. U.S. is going to move in. This could be pretty strong here. One down. down. Is there more? Yeah. I, I saw one. one. I think she's dead. And Hedda makes it around the corner. Into the building. So U.S. is going to clear these two buildings here. King's King barely makes it out of there. He takes a huge hit, but he's still up. He could bleed out if he's not bandaging right now, though. And he is bandaged. Hey, you got friendlies here to your yeah, north. East side, east side. They're inside these little buildings. Nice try. I can hear someone crawling on the north here. Hedda wants to come out here. He's coming out, Sounds and it's not ready. King's not ready. Sasa not ready, Hold and they're on. both dead. I got a grenade. We're enemy troops uh, northwest of the river. Just so you know, approaching. Grenade. They were moving. Chicken dead as Dashby truck comes across the road. That 
was a weird spot to hide. Uh, just Paladin in the southern comp or in the uh, southern compound here. Uh, meanwhile, the push comes in and uh, head is gone. Oh, it push gets guys. a bullet for a bullet in return. What's that? Oh, that was almost a TK. You don't see me. You didn't see uh, get push. And Matt is still in this other room here, hiding as best he can. There's no way they're going to see him until they get into this room. They know these rooms aren't secure. Ooh. Oh, I missed it. Seneca runs in and kills Matt. Shots are still coming in. Exoskeleton has actually crossed, and Revy, they're coming back in to try to re to try to cause some problems here. Still looks like no one north now. Oh, that's because the Fox the the Charlie Foxtrot and folks have uh, come back up on the northern road. Charlie Foxtrot gets killed, but they take out Lance Aubrey. Strong position to at least get some more kills from for INS, although it definitely looks like this is going to go in US's favor here. A strong push and INS favoring more of a defensive posture here kind of bit, kind of came back to bite them. Down to twisties here on the hill. Looks like GL maybe got him there. The compound is clear except for Paladin and uh, Horny Uncle Niner's. I guess he's dead. No, he's right there. I'm blind. So it's just these two here. Paladin takes out, uh, you don't see me. And now the order has been given. US are now defending the town. Paladin runs back inside this building. No, uh, doesn't have west windows, but Paladin has a pretty awesome spot right here. And it looks like he might get a second kill on get push. Ooh, smart for get push. Push past the door. He's done it again. Uh, looks like Revy and Exoskeleton are both dead. Hey, I'm back. Oh, Silas is back, guys. Back. Welcome back. U.S. pushing in to try to secure this area. Get pushed. He's actually made it in. He's made it past. Uncle Liner hears him. Get pushed looking the wrong way as he comes around the corner, gets destroyed. Paladin and Horny Uncle Niner still out here. Looks like the uh, other INS guy is dead over here as well. Uncle Niner getting shot through a window. Here comes Londarts trying to come in and clear the deal. Londarts comes inside and uh, a little bit of trading places there. Uncle Niner pushes out and kills Bags, and Londarts comes in behind but gets traded. He's gonna go. Paladin gets another kill on Seneca. Paladin is uh, now single-handedly holding this compound. I believe he's the last one alive. Paladin shooting a Rose Dragon. Copy that. Yeah, I think we're done the last man here for INS. It's just Paladin alive against uh, squad size plus force of US. INS up to 36 kills, so maybe less than squad size force. Rose Dragon commanding still in here. There's contact in the compound at Lima 11.5. Still has command comms with Sven. Sven and Blue Jericho could really screw things up right now if they decided to move out. It looks like they are. But uh, Paladin is taking a look here. I don't think he's going to see Rose. He sees Rose's gun barrel, though. Oh, he's going to tell him, though. And Paladin kind of uh, pushing out here. Blue Jericho is still not looking this direction. Paladin keeps going. Blue Jericho and Sven. Is Blue going to look towards this door? He's looking towards this door, actually. But Paladin comes back and kills Rose. <laughs> I was looking at that and I was like, yeah, he's going to get killed. Hey, get out of Stop talking. Get out of comms. Get out of comms. Uh, 
Too many new people are about to get kicked out of squad ops for talking in the op. I feel sorry for them. Paladin's still up here. And Freestalker's watching the murder hole. Wow. Oh, what a shot. Way to end the round. Freestalker one taps Paladin in the face. And that's GG. US, clear Hangtown and secure the area. Looks like uh, US down to five there at the end. Nice work, guys. Huge victory. And we'll take a last look at the skill board here, or the kill board here. 43-37 for INS. Oh, man. It's a good thing I muted in-game. Good thing I muted in-game. Woo! All right. That's going to do it for me today. Woo! That was fun. A, uh, a nice, uh, a nice Operation Vanguard there. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for coming out. Appreciate you guys tuning into the stream. Got some more.